back to the channel and welcome back to working on the cabin. We are finishing up the interior work and when I say we, I mean Levi. He's working on some railings, some shelving, getting all of the little honeydew lists inside finished up before there's enough snow to snow machine, which hopefully will come soon. You know we love winter so much, but we really would like more snow than this. So. For now, we're working inside with you guys and hopefully we'll be outside again real soon. Looks pretty good. The board's kind of warped in the process of waiting to get a drill bit. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll try and get it straight. Should go something like that. Bowls, plates, and cups and stuff on top. And then hang cast iron and pots and pans on the bottom. We'll see how it works. If nothing else, it's better than what we got going on right now. About the right spot. Yeah, I think the kind of balance between hang and stuff and yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Okay. The mark? Yeah. Um you're about an eighth of an inch away from it. To go towards you? Yeah. Oh whoa, wow. I just gotta hold it. Can you tap it one side or the other? No. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! And throw the level on top. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Up a touch on that side. And backwards, down a 
I'm trying to say. Why did you say up? You said up. <laughs> right there. Okay, the one above the bar. You don't see it there? Yeah. How's that gonna work? Drill's gonna get in the way. Okay, there's in my little cup in the windowsill. It should be an extendometer. Extendometer? This is not a light shelf. No? You're still level? Yep. You! Is it perfect? Yeah. Top one? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We need to do the bottom ones. Okay. I don't want to put that many freaking holes in the wall. Okay, well, if this thing comes down one day. Now, how's that look? Like, you stand back? Looks good. Is that what you want? Yeah, I like it. Okay, as long as you think it's high enough above the oven. Well, I mean, it's... She got wood and wood and wood and, you know... If you yeah. have a big grease fire, we got problems anyway. That is true. between the windows, not centered over the stove because the stove isn't centered between the windows. And that was because it all just went downhill. We wanted the sink to be centered between the windows and then we knew the size we needed for the refrigerator and then the cabinet and it just, they got us off the center, but it's, it's really fine. not far enough that it's a big deal in my opinion. I want to hang my cast iron up and these stainless steels all up. That's all so nice, and then all of the plates are going to go up here. Ta-da! Ta-da! And while I know you're vertically challenged, the further back you push them, the stronger it is. Not that I'm that worried about, That's but nice. just... <laughs> I'll push these. I just, I don't know what kind of hooks we're going to get, but. I just, mainly I want hooks for cast iron, but. Yeah. I'm just scared the cat at stepping the stone. Oh, no. <laughs> Sardo. Maybe. Like a basket of the spices. For the spices. What do you think, dude? Another successful operation? a little black end on top but Ooh, yeah. Tower is finally working. Finally. That's pretty good.
tricky in the corner up to the roof tying that all in we'll do 34 inches for our total height and we're kind of committed now it's short but i wanted it to be short that way i don't want to wall it off up here it's not so much to keep us from falling it's to keep him from falling are you him this one's gonna have to come down again Because I don't know the geometry of the stairs and all that. So we're going to get the top railing done. And then figure out where it's going to tie in here. We have an escapee! Got him. Okay, escapee baby. All the time. I'm going to go grab a couple screws. So does that look pretty good up and down? Yeah, I think that. You know, because that's our this way. Whoa, you moved it a lot. I think it needs to come towards me. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I really wish I had some longer screws, but. Maybe when we put it back together. I don't like being on the other side of the gate. It's rude. Well, if we get this done, Henry, then you can be an upstairs baby. You can hang out upstairs. Upstairs. You can turn it off if you want. Where do you need me? Just to hold it from falling and I'll position it exactly where I need it. Log screw should hold it. Jeez, I reckon. Right about like that, huh?
So you see the mark we got? So we'll go yep on that side. Let me grab a screw and I'll get this side ready. He found a piece of bark. He says he'll probably survive now. Okay, you want it down a little from the mark? Yeah, as long as it I'm right where I need to okay, be. Okay, then it's fine. And you're good left to right. Yes. Probably down eight inch or something. Yeah, something like that. That's going to be pretty hard. You know, you put two screws and it'll straighten it. Yeah. With this. Can you see the mark on top here? Is that a mark on the top? Yeah. Or need to be just like, like the corner that. needs to be on it? Or? Yeah, pretty much. On the finger. I'm going to flip it this way real quick. Lucy said, what are you doing? This is my hand. Good looking fit there. Yeah, I think so. Left handed. Worthless. We're almost done. We're creating a ginormous playpen, bud. Yeah. How's it looking from down there? Looks good. This is the hard part. Is it? Go. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now I just gotta spend a little bit of time with a table saw and rip all those down to make the slats. But then those are just gonna be a slap them up deal. Cool. I'm gonna put start. a couple more screws in this. Cool. I'm gonna start dinner. Okay.
rip these all out of two by fours. Right. So two out of three have a have rounded edges. And then you have the one that was in the middle. Right. The That's just the sharp part. We're not going to router them and deal with all that. Okay. Um, I think I just need to grab the next one in line and throw it up and don't worry about it. That's fine because we'll, we're talking eventually about replacing them anyway, right? Yeah. Potentially. I, yeah. You know, you don't need to have a pattern. I don't care. It's going to look good. I think so. For, you know, it's not peeled logs and. No, but I like it. But I think it's going to look It's going to mean Henry can crawl around upstairs, which is going to yeah. be so nice. Way better than throwing something up in a plywood. Yes. That looks pretty good. Looks really good. This is really, really hard cameraman work. What's hard about it? Holding your child's ears. No. Oh. <laughs> Four inch spacer. Just to try and make this a little easier. Nice. Very, you know? very smart. Something like that. He can't put his noggin through there. That makes sense. This one's level, so they should, oh. or plumb. So they should stay good all the way. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Oh, I see
Oh, I wasn't thinking. I cut it perpendicular when it needs to be an eight to 37 degree angle dead set. Cut this off at an angle and have the board run over the top of it. Or if I'm gonna run the board into it and leave this. Yeah, I don't care either way. I don't, I don't you know, I think that's kind of <laughs> sort of cool. It'd be really hard to fit that mm -hmm. at the angle. And this one is gonna be getting my angles right. That's gonna find out where we're gonna hit on this post. Mm -hmm. Once I get all that figured out, that, then it'll be easier to see what we want. Get some. <laughs> Get some measurements. Yeah, yeah I know what you're saying. Down. seven degrees when we woke up this morning so the generator wouldn't start but of course our little generator started so Levi has it shooting exhaust on the big generator to try and warm it up and get it to start but we're actually getting really good solar right now so he just needs it for saws and stuff but um <laughs> the woes of winter have begun it's really bright right now I wanted to show this off, Levi didn't video building it, but it's just a nice little bench for over here. There wasn't anything against this wall, but it's a nice bench that we can kind of put some stuff on. I mainly wanted it five gallon bucket height so I could put like buckets of flour and stuff under it. But for now it's housing canned goods. We've got a bunch of canned salmon over here. And yeah, it's just housing a bunch of food since I don't have a pantry and uh, I really like it. Henry really likes it. Yeah, it is. You're gonna make a gigantic mess? Yep. As long as that, as long as we move that. Otherwise, have at it. I 
It's not that much dust, he says. Well, it was no! that in the chainsaw, so. <laughs> Oh, we should open this window. We've got that fan. We should turn that fan on. The chainsaw would have made a really good mess. No way. Top one now? Top one. Walk out below, Henry. Okay. <laughs> What would you like uh, this to look like? I mean, it makes sense to have a little bit hanging off, right? I mean, really wood. So it was not that cold this morning. We're already having generator troubles. Um, Fully expected to have some issues with generators running when it gets to be 30, 40 below. Not 8 degrees I think it was this morning. And Honda generator already won't start. So I've got our little champion generator which fired right up. It's old and worn out. Doesn't have enough power to power the house. But I've got it running with the exhaust just blowing that warm air inside the Honda. Try and thaw things out in there. I've had it running like that for about two hours and we're gonna see if the Honda will start. right up my understanding of what happens is you get condensation which freezes up in this breather line from the intake or I guess it's like a PCB valve type of thing there's a breather line from the engine back into the intake and that causes the carb to freeze up I believe what Google says. I know there was ice crystals in this breather line this morning. So they make, Honda makes a cold weather kit that we'll probably pick up for this generator. And hopefully that'll solve the problem. Because it weighs 130 pounds, so it's not like we could just bring it inside to warm it up. This little champion does run like a champ. It just doesn't have enough power to run the house and charge the batteries. Um, but it is very lightweight, easy to move around. So they also make a little bit bigger of these champions. They're pretty inexpensive. And I've contemplated picking one of those up just for backup because this champion's about toast. Um, they're like five or 600 bucks and work really good. And by its rating, it should have enough power to power the house. So that's kind of another option, just to have a more capable backup generator. But it's running now. Okay, now that we got the generator running, 
We can use the table saw, rip the rest of these pickets to finish the railing going down the stairs. And then that'll be done, which will be nice. How about that, huh? Awesome. Well, yeah, all the rails are done. I am gonna make a little bit more sawdust and just run over it with a sander. Okay. Just because you don't want to be sliding your hand down the railing. Mm-hmm. Levi's railing is done. We are aware that there are gaps on each end. He is probably going to peel some more kind of posts looking like logs to do there. Not doing it right this minute. Right now we can just kind of blockade those two end caps. But otherwise the railing's totally done. Bravo, I love it. Yeah, it looks great. Henry. He really likes being able to run around upstairs. Henry really likes being able to run around upstairs, so. Railing, yeah. shelving. Yeah. <laughs> We're finally wrapping up the inside yeah. of the Yeah, the inside of the cabin. So thanks as always for watching. Yeah. Stay tuned as we find more projects. Because they're there. They're always there. Thanks for watching. Ready? <laughs>